Hey everyone, it's Emily with Hearty Soul. Welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to show you how we make our sourdough pretzel bites. I love getting our sourdough starter out during the winter months. When it's so cold outside, it's so nice to do some baking inside and just experiment with all sorts of different recipes. A few years ago, I put together a sourdough recipe ebook, so I'll put that down here in the description box below so that you can have all of these recipes at your fingertips. So these pretzel bites, they can be made in little bite size, we've made them in sticks, you can even make the pretzel shape, you can add butter and salt, or dip them in cheese. You can go crazy with what you do with your pretzel sticks. I even love dipping them in guacamole. That, I think, is just really tasty. So I'm gonna show you how we make these pretzel bites today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need, open up my sourdough starter, as you can see. It's been fed this morning, so it's super bubbly and activated and ready to go. So I'm going to do a half a cup of my sourdough starter in here. And I love using this big wide mouth jar so that it's a lot easier for me to get my measuring cup in and out and you don't deal with a whole lot of mess. So once we've got our half a cup of sourdough starter in my mixer, I'm going to add three fourths cup of lukewarm water. Then we need one teaspoon of granulated sugar. And then I use one packet of instant yeast, which is also two teaspoons. We need one teaspoon of salt. And the last thing we need is two cups of all-purpose flour. Five minutes of kneading in our mixer here. It is sticky, but as you can see, it's not so sticky that it's leaving, that it's not leaving stuff on my hands, and that's the key. So we're gonna form this into a ball, spray my container here, my bowl, and then we've gotta run to a ball game, and in an hour and a half, this will be doubled in size because it will have raised and we're going to have some really lovely pretzel bites later on. We're going to cover this bowl with a towel, let it stay in a nice warm area and let it rise for an, about an hour and a half or until it's doubled its size. This is the best part. You know you've worked so hard to get the recipe right and your bread dough has raised, or in this case, our pretzel dough. It's raised to double its size. You congratulate yourself and you punch it down. So this dough is raised for about an hour and a half to two hours. And we're ready to turn it out into about two tablespoons of flour on this surface here. And we're going to cut this in four sections. So I take one of our four sections here and we just roll it out. I use my hands. A little bit of a floured surface, roll it out, cut them into little nuggets, and 
then we're just gonna add them to our cookie sheet. We've got a piece of parchment paper down here. Next, I got about a half a cup of water in this microwave safe measuring cup, and I'm going to heat this up until it boils in my microwave. The next thing I'm gonna do is add one teaspoon of baking soda to my boiling cup of water. Okay, as you can see, my water is very clearly boiling. I'm just gonna set that here. I want you to see what happens when I add baking soda. So I've got my one teaspoon of baking soda. It's gonna bubble up. Awesome. We wanna make sure all of our baking soda is dissolved before we brush it onto our pretzel bites here. And then we're just going to lightly brush the pretzel bites with this boiling hot water and baking soda. This is the secret to pretzel making. This is the part where you differentiate a nugget of dough from an actual pretzel. Okay, so next I'm going to preheat my oven to 500 degrees and while I wait for that my oven to heat up, I'm going to cover this pan of pretzel bites and let these raise just a little bit more while the oven is heating up. Then I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes. Okay, so while we wait for the sourdough pretzel bites to bake, I'm going to start our homemade cheese sauce. So I'm going to start my little pot for medium heat. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. Then we're gonna add our one tablespoon of flour. I'm just gonna whisk this around, mix it together. I'm gonna lower my heat a little bit. And add my eight ounces of shredded cheddar and my one cup of whole milk. down until it's nice and melted. You can see we still see the shredded cheese there. And at this point, it's getting melted down. I've got it on a very low heat. Feel free to add any salt and pepper that you would like to add to this cheese or maybe a couple of teaspoons of hot sauce if you'd like. I'm just going to keep this rather plain. And if it ends up getting a little bit thick on you, feel free to add a little bit more milk to this if it's starting to get a little bit thick. And now our pretzel bites are done. Nice, perfect little brown, and they're all ready to enjoy with our cheese sauce. If you haven't yet made a sourdough starter, I'll put the link in the description below. Don't feel bad, it's totally okay. And if you really don't wanna make a sourdough starter, I'll put a recipe down below in the description box for a pretzel bite recipe with no sourdough starter. Mm. So good. I'm just gonna sit in the kitchen.
Thanks so much for joining us today as we make these sourdough pretzel bites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more recipes and videos just like this. Have a great week. Ba -ba 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 -ba.